what it is y'all welcome back you have made it to another video here on the marzipan channel this week is a lock review but a lock review of colors we're going to go around the color wheel and show you some styles color combos and general inspiration for possibly your next hair project maybe and we're gonna start this week's video off with a question what color are your locks are they natural are they a crazy color a wild color and if they're not and you know damage and time and maintenance wasn't an issue what color or colors would you dye your locks how would you adorn your crown? Leave your comments down below, and if your mind changes by the end of this video, let me know as well, because we are going into some wild ones. All right, let's go. Oh, wait, hold the phone. Just a quick word from our sponsor, which is me. I am an artist who has recently decided to start selling their art. I sell framed prints, home decor, and select few designs get turned into activewear as well. The art and the home decor are largely inspired by the world around me, the activewear as well. However, some of the pieces are also inspired by my favorite animes. Fresh designs on functional activewear for men and women in a variety of sizes. So please, after the video, go check out my shop. You won't be disappointed. All right, thanks for listening. And now on to the video. So we're gonna start off light here. We're gonna start off tame with some natural colors. Blonde, like black, is a neutral. It's very versatile. It can go with everything. You can dress it up, dress it down, and it goes with almost any aesthetic. You can find a way to fit it in. This is a cool example of how a two-tone can also combine, can combine two neutral colors and turn it into a whole look in itself. Also, just gotta mention here, this retwist and this two-strand twist looks fresh, it looks fire, and it doesn't hurt my head to look at it. Red is always a statement color. It's just too powerful of a color to be tame, and we can go into burgundy, but that's something else. Like an unnatural fire power red will always make a statement, always stand out, but it can be dressed up or dressed down as well letting it vary letting a little blonde show having some rusty blonde show and peppering in some orange can cool it down but it is still a pretty outstanding look as we can see here but always a bop always a safe bet to go with red here is an example of a lighter blonde but a lighter blonde with blue moving into the more unnaturals Bond and blue and blue and brown always you hear me look at me always go together and they're such a nice combination it's striking but also soft the only downside is that because blue is too much of an unnatural color it can be a little harder to dress up in certain spaces but listen this is a safe space it is always always a bop here so moving straight on into more striking blues straight up blues ombre blues blues with other colors blue blue is one of my personal favorite hair colors because on brown skin it just looks amazing and if you have yellow undertones to your skin it's just effortlessly popping on you so you know why wouldn't you do it it is kind of a hard color to achieve, but if you can pull it off, it just will always look nice. Blue on its own gives very much fantasy, uh, very ethereal, very beautiful, and looks great with jewelry, like whether it's on your ears or your face or just in your hair. And blue combined with complementing colors also just adds a really punky punch to it so anything purple or green anything close to it on the color wheel will add like a a soft but like punky edge to it 
And the types of blues also matter. Bright blues can be more vibrant, where dark blues can still remain quite subtle. Here's another updo that looks phenomenal. The roots do look a little tight though. Now ombre blues, where you leave your roots natural and then it goes to blue at the tips, is probably the best move for long-term maintenance and root health. This way you can leave your scalp alone, leave the new growth alone, and your hair will continue to be healthy. Okay, now this two-tone green is actually everything. When put in hair, green I find always comes off as like edgy, punky, but you can always dress it to be a little softer. Now pink and purple combo. Pink and purple combo is a really cool one to do. These colors are obviously very feminine. Um, if you let the blonde show with it, making it a trifecta of colors, it is super feminine, Barbie energy, very perfect. I love it. Pink and purples also go well with natural roots. Uh, they look good with dark roots or dark ends. Doesn't really matter the order. Here, for example, we have all three. Oop, this looks like it's a transformation, so let's go through it. All right, they've got the blonde and a bit of faded pink. They're gonna take us through their dyeing process with the tin foil. That looks a little pro for me. Saturated with the purple. Okay, and it turned out nice, look at that. The purples at the end here are almost so deep, they almost look blue. Well done, but like I said, purple, pink, go well together, go well with blonde, and go well with natural roots as well. This one I thought was pretty cool, where they did the, forgive my term, but the Billie Eilish move, where they uh, put the exaggerated color near the root. So do this with uh, one color, so if you were just to put pink and then or purple and then have your natural uh, hair be out for the rest of the strands of the locks. I personally just wouldn't do this because I hate maintenance and I don't want to maintain the roots all the time, but it looks great. And here you can see exactly what I mean. This is even more pronounced on shorter locks because you get all three colors all together. Like all three colors hit your eye. It's really striking, really cool. Almost looks like, like a pink shine to the hair. I'm thinking about like cartoons and drawing, but <laughs> I hope I hope someone got that. A full head of bright pink baby locks. These look amazing. I love it. The jewelry brings it all together. Oh, speaking of jewelry, pink and purple go great with gold jewelry as well. And it also highlights people with uh, yellow undertones to their skin. Looking at this updo, I really like it because the retwist looks tight, but it doesn't look like it's pulling on the scalp, which I absolutely love. There's more pink at the bottom here, which, whoa. Was that the beginning? Was this a transformation? Hang on, let's go back. Wow. Yeah, I really love this. I really love this. It seems that they hadn't had a retwist in a while and then just boom, went for full transformation. Some pink Sistalocks. Ooh, and it even looks like they combined it with some burgundy at the bottom. This is a really cool move too. It's almost like it's all one color, but you have like some shadows in there. This looks really nice as well. Although I can't tell if it's burgundy or purple, but I mean, either way, same, same ballpark. So I'm going to end my video here. I hope you guys had fun, got inspired, and enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave what color you would dye your hair and like this video and subscribe. Until next time, bye.